Mankind could learn so much from honeybees. And we're killing them. It's terrible. We couldn't live in a world without bees, and we don't want to live in a world without bees. Bees are in trouble, and they need our help. When we bought this property, there was a beekeeper approached us to keep bees on the property, and he was out here for about four years, and then he suddenly passed away. We inherited the bees, and we didn't know if we were going to keep them or not, so I did some studying. With the colony collapse happening and the, the bees being endangered, we thought it was a good cause, and that's really how we started as beekeepers. This is my honey, Joanne. <laughs> Joanne and I are a team. Every year we drive across Canada with the bee trailer and this trailer draws a lot of attention and that allows us to help educate people about the bees. Part of the trip that we do across Canada is meeting other beekeepers in Ontario so we can spread the word with them and get new beekeepers on our Ontario Bee Rescue List. We have about 20 hives here that we maintain. Most of these are rescue hives. Okay, we got a call for a swarm. Bee swarm is a natural part of their growth, and some people kill them. But that's all bees. That's a big bunch of comb in there. The most important thing for us is to be able to go out and remove bees safely and protect them and help them grow, trying to help the bee population. Nobody charges for this service. This is absolutely not a business. Backyard beekeeping and hobby beekeeping does not make money. The bottom box is usually where the brood is, where the the queen lays eggs and hatches babies. The upper box is usually their stores, and, and that's what they need for winter, 60 to 80 pounds of honey and pollen to get through the winter. And then they keep building, and they keep making more than they need, and that's why we eat honey. There's many, many species of bees, but only the honeybee produces honey, and that is liquid gold. That yellow jacket loves your camera. So we get a lot of calls at the bee rescue for wasps because people don't know the difference. Bees are orange and black and fuzzy, and wasps are yellow and black and bald. Um, wasps are meat eaters, they're very aggressive. Bees are vegetarians, and they're very, very docile by nature. So unless you do something drastic, the bees will not attack you. Wasps we're not fans of. I'm opening the hive, and there's my girls. Inside a colony of bees, all the work is done by the females. When they're born, their first job is to clean, and then they become nurse bees to help other baby bees when they're born, and then they become builder bees to build comb, and then they become guard bees to guard the hive, and then they become foragers. At their last three weeks of their life, they're foragers. Queen's job is to lay eggs. I mean, that's what she does. She lays more than her weight in eggs every day. This is a larva that's going to turn into bees. See that big one? That's a drone. Drone bees are boy bees. The only reason the male bees are there is to mate with the queen. That's all they do. They mate with the queen, then they die when they mate, and at the end of the season, the girls kick them out of the hive because they don't work, they just eat. Personally, I think the bees have given me something that I needed in my life. I'm a super hyper guy. The bees make me calm. When I'm working with 50,000 bees, I have to be mellow. I can't be jerky. I can't be banging things around. I can't be excited. I gotta be gentle and slow and methodical about what I'm doing. And that's definitely changed my life. Mankind would lose a third or more of their food and we wouldn't last very long. Our industrial world and the poisons we use and the pollution we create is killing off nature. And this is why we try to help. I think the most important thing to realize is that we've got over 100 beekeepers in Ontario and they're willing to help people for free. We can learn so much from these guys. They work for the colony, they work for each other, they don't work for themselves.